WICR, rocking the campus in New Rochelle. WICR yesterday. WICR, rocking the campus in New Rochelle. Hey, hey guys. <laughs> that is what we call having um, iTunes as a means of playing. <laughs> <laughs> as a means of playing music. Some slick technical difficulties. So there's it's no good. pause. It's good. I'm trying my best. <laughs> so, right, this is the Unknown Show. I'm Bayside. And I'm Boston. And we bring you indie music. Every Tuesday night at 5. Be sure to follow WICR on Twitter at, at WICR1. Uh, on Instagram at WICR underscore Iona College Radio. On Facebook at WICR. And check out the website, ionacollegeradio.wix.com slash WICR. Thanks. And uh, yeah, so that last break, what did we play? We played. We played... Uh, some of the uh, new Lumineers album, Cleopatra, and the song was from the actual na- uh, actual album title. Uh, we played Sound of Your Heart by Sean Hook, which is kind of old. Um, and we played You Up by so- Soft Lit, which is pretty hmm. upbeat. So tell me about this Lumineer album, Julia. So uh, the yeah, Lumineers, <laughs> a lot of people... <laughs> Uh, know the Lumineers for um, their other songs that came out in 2012, um, but now this is their first album back after some legal trouble with other members of their band. Um, Yay! Some writing licenses, things like that. It's fun. Uh, now it's all figured out, so they came back with a new album called Cleopatra. Um, the most popular song off the album was "Is Ophelia," which has been played on the radio quite a bit. I believe I've um, heard that. Yeah, it's it was released as a single, and they just released the album on the 8th, um, and it's very, very good. I have it on repeat. It's just, it's amazing. Personally, my favorites are um, Angela, My Eyes, and Cleopatra, which is the one you just heard. We played Angela a little earlier in the show, um, but it's kind of folksy a little bit. Um, it's actually classified under indie folk rock. Okay. Um but they they definitely shake it up with instruments and lyrically they're probably uh, one of the most creative um, bands that I've heard in quite some time. Um, their creative lyrics, their thought process, the way they they shape words, it's mm-hmm. very very good. Um, I, I'd almost compare them to Colony House, which is another band that we actually saw in concert in September. We played November. their song "Moving Forward" last week. Yeah, they're which very I've been very good. To. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't. I mean, I I'm oh. not super versed in the Lumineers. I know Ho Hey. They're from Denver, so, like yes. Colorado. I knew that. That yeah, I did. Ho Hey and oh, what's what was the other, the other one? Song? Well, mm. well, they had another popular song, so that was just a little, we'll if people up. have heard, they're like, oh, that name's definitely familiar, but not sh- exactly sure where I know that from. They sang Ho Hey, which was popular a few years ago. Um, but yeah, so they have a new album. Do you know what day it came out? It came out the 8th. Cool. And so if you, from the new album, would have had to Stubborn recommend- Stubborn Love is the other song. Oh, uh-huh. okay. Well, if you had to recommend like two or three songs, would they be those three, which were- Probably those three. Um, so Angela, um, Cleopatra. Which those are the two we played. Those are the two we played. Um, My eyes. Okay. I definitely I'd check out the acoustic versions of the song too. But um, mm. there's one other song um, called Gale Song. Ooh, which I is, think I saw that. Yeah, it, it shakes up the music quite a bit. Um, but it's it's very good. I'd definitely recommend the album. Um, what's interesting is the album artwork um, is from a older movie um, about Cleopatra, um, and it's just the actress um, on a gray background, but I thought that was very, very creative just yeah. to pull from the past like that. I saw um, that. I enjoyed that. And the song Cleopatra is actually, when you listen to the lyrics, it's about kind of losing love and melancholic a little bit, but still upbeat. Um, and it was inspired by um, the lead singer took a taxi and it was inspired by their um, story that they told them while they were driving around whatever city they were in. But um, I just find it creative that 
and amazing that they can create um kind of d- this musical product just from hearing someone else speak so i like that yeah, yeah. and um just in other people that uh acoustic artists are acoustic versions you should check out i'm not sure if he's indie but he deserves some love because i don't think he's too well known yet um is my boy sam hunt so if you're a fan of either country or r&b or a combination of different sounds or just like good music i would definitely check sam hunt out you've probably Hunt might be indie i'll have to check check that that for you because especially with like summer coming i did there i did i did the y'all i tried you tried so hard Um, i'm not from the south guys i'm sorry yeah. I, i'm a fake but you're no never mind i was about to say i'm you're not f- from the south at all yes i know i'm as far north <laughs> as you can go <laughs> no i was going to say you're south boston but you're not i'm at not all. south boston so i'm I, south I i'm southern massachusetts there so that she counts is. so and she's everyone, she's a southern gal people in massachusetts like to pretend they're from the south that's nice there's a lot of pickup trucks in cowboy you had a pickup truck i did i had a pickup Uh, truck i was a truck driver but um yeah so i would definitely check sam hunt out he has an acoustic version of his album out you've probably heard take your time which is popular last summer but we're going to figure that out for you guys if he's indie what is the other song that was it there was another song of his that was very very popular on the radio uh, um, break up in a small break town. up in a small town <gasps> um, you've Ooh. definitely heard that one even if you don't know who it's by um you're probably like have... that's really great but yeah he has such an interesting sound it's yeah country yet it's like r&b he um, has this weird thing he does which i didn't like at first i know many people i do, loved it where he kind of speaks in he his speaks songs. in his songs it's kind of it's just him to a beat talking and it's not the whole song but, but it kind of lays out the picture of yeah the it's, it's kind of like it's almost like if he was painting a picture it's him like outlining yeah. things in sharpie before he begins painting yes it's That's, that was beautiful i know i try um <laughs> But um, I, I think he has a unique sound that you have to get used to. Yes. I, I don't think I particularly... If, if you don't like country, but you're starting... You want to branch out in your music taste a little more, I definitely recommend him and Hunter Hayes are really good ways <gasps> to segue into new music genres. Definitely. Because um, so... I am not a country fan. But yeah, so... I mean... Oh, yeah. He, he's very impressive but... to me. Boston's been listening to some country lately. I have. Yeah, I wonder Besides what influence that's been cor- corrupting me. Oops. I it's just summer. listen to like all unknown music, which is why we have this show. <laughs> but- so yeah, um, check out Sam Hunt as well as his acoustic version of his normal album, and check out the Lumineers' new album because they deserve some goodness. And They're really good. Yeah, when we get back, we're gonna talk about what happened to Dylan O'Brien. See you then. <laughs> 